<laughs> so KC, tell me about the flash you just seen. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Yin Yang. <laughs> oh man. So uh movie theaters on Tuesdays in the summer does this thing where tickets are like five, six dollars. So that's why I normally just been going now. Cause I don't got nothing to do. I stay out the house. So I decided to go see the flash. <clears throat> you know, normally superhero movies, you gotta go see it opening day. The excitement, you don't want nothing spoiled. Nothing about this movie made me feel like any of that. Now you're talking about Marvel now, but go I mean ahead. you've done it with DC movies too. Uh, but they got it from Marvel. Yeah, but you know, yeah. you've done it with DC movies. And it wasn't DC, but like before even Marvel came, we had the Batman movies. That like, wasn't no alternate endings and all that though. But that's what I'm saying. But I'm saying like like the excitement for I the feel, movies. Because yeah, yeah. I I went to go see uh the Dark Knight. At midnight, yeah, when but that it came was packaged out. different. Yeah, that's pa- like, that that shit was packaged like was, a Harry Potter. Batman is Batman. He DC character. That's what I meant. Yeah, but um, yeah, the Flash, man. My word, this movie sucked. <laughs> like it was. Terrible. So the premise was he had to go back in time. He he wanted to go back in time to save his his mom from dying, right. which will ultimately keep his dad out of prison. Cause his mom was killed and uh, his dad was blamed for it. So where the hell does Superwoman come into play? <sighs> so, <laughs> what she so, got to do with that fucking plot? All right. It, it kind of like they got the Justice League because that's where the, the beginning starts. Uh, Flash is now a Justice League member. Uh, Alfred is hitting him up like, hey, you know, Bats need your help. All this and all that and whatever. So they go do that. Wonder Woman comes because she end up helping at like towards the end of that little segment. So as he, you know, going about his day, his regular life now, um, his dad is on trial. No, not on trial. His dad's parole hearing is up. So he's trying to get his dad out of prison. And um, he's trying to get the evidence to show that his dad didn't do it or whatnot. Bruce Wayne helps him, but the the clip shows that his head does not come up. Therefore, they couldn't say that he was at his uh, alibi. Hmm. And so he decides, like, he's so upset, he's just going to run super fast. He's running super fast. <laughs> And somehow he get, he starts a supernova of time and figures out that he can run so fast. To I where was running. <laughs> he can run so fast that he can get through time. So he literally turns back the hands of time as, as a runner. <laughs> now, at this point, he sees this, this time period of when his mom about to die. And somebody pu- jumps out and punches him, and it comes out comes out that it was his younger self who became this this time warped mutant and sabotaged him to make him. It, it's just it's it, a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> it was the whole thing. And then what was even crazy <laughs> about this stupid movie was that. Uh, the short-haired Flash was like CGI majority of the movie. So it's safe to say that AI wrote this movie. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be shocked if it was because it didn't you make can, sense. Yeah, whatsoever. you can't. It's too messy. You 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 just told me this whole plot of the Super Friends. This was all in the movie. That that was in the first ten minutes of the movie. <laughs> what? So the first plot is is Super Friends. Then you got the trial. Then you got, he goes back in time out of nowhere. Yes. He has a evil twin brother. No, it's younger version. It's uh, his, right. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a younger version. Because you know, in all the movies and shows, if you go back in time, you're not allowed to like uh, see your younger self or something like that. Yes. He not only sees his younger self, he interacts with this dude the entire movie. 
and matter of fact, forms a team with him. And then what's even crazier, you know, you know, like episodes of shows when like the hero or whatever lose his powers. Yes. He lost his powers. <laughs> he lost, like, he went to the specific date of when he was hit by the lightning and the chemicals to become the Flash. So he took him, the younger version of him, took him to the spot so it can happen, so t time doesn't change. In the process, the lightning bolt goes through his back, goes and goes through his stomach, and hits the younger version. So the younger version gets all the powers. He loses his powers. <laughs> My God. And so now he has to find a way to get his powers back, which he ended up doing because he ended up getting Supergirl, who was in that time the Superman of their time. Mm. Uh, she was the protector of Kal-El, which is Superman. And then um, in that time, she was held captive in like Russia or whatever. They go and save her because Bruce Wayne, Batman, Michael Keaton uh, went and got him, helped out and whatever. And um, yeah, they, they release her. She helps him by flying him up to the sky to get electrocuted many times. And he becomes the Flash again. That's how ass is. Like if you sound, if you still here, <laughs> and you like, wow, this is very confusing. I say, I can't believe you stayed awake. Through no, this shit. I can't either. <laughs> I will never watch this movie again in my life, like ever. Yeah, I my think, son did not even want to go see this movie. Like you clearly can see, like I, I look at movies different differently now. Like with writing, like with like you can't tell if you never seen an MCU movie. If you watch Infinity War. It's a lot of subplots in there, but the writing's so good and the movie and the, the emotion of the movie is so good that you can follow along and know what's going on. Like with these movies, like not even uh, like the new the Space 4, like uh, 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 The Madness, Doctor Strange 2, like that they, that was kind of rushed. It like, was very rushed. It was very rushed. Like the, the Spider-Man movie was rushed to me. Um, it was all right, but it wasn't. It didn't hit expectations. So, I don't know, man. I be looking at different movies a little bit differently nowadays. Like, I want to see good writing, a good plot. Like, I want to get the emotion that that Guardians of the Galaxy got me. Like, that was a good one. Like, they got they MCU got they feeling back with that one. So, um, he had went back and saved his mom, and then that's how uh, he got to that point where he got where the the. Uh, the younger version of himself became the Flash or whatnot. So he had realized in order for things to kind of get back normal, he he can't save her. Like she she is meant to die, uh -huh. and that that sucked for him. But in the process of doing that, he remembered that uh, like because how he saved her was she died because. The dad had to go get tomato sauce that she left at the grocery store. So he he saved her by putting the tomato sauce inside the the cart and it was there. Oh God. So when he went back, he took the tomato sauce out the cart, but he was talking to her and all that stuff, crying and all that. She she hugged him. She didn't know who he was, but she hugged him and and you know went from there. But in the process of doing that, instead of um, instead of saving her, he saved his dad because he took the tomato sauce that was on the bottom of the, the shelf and put it on the top of the shelf. So when he went back to his time and at the trial, uh, they showed the video proof and his head pops up and you can see that he was at his alibi and he didn't kill the wife. So he got out of prison. That's how he saved the dad. That's how the movie ended. No, the movie ended. <laughs> Just tell me where who's coming or the like, movie no. ended because uh, Wayne Bruce Wayne calls him. He was like, "Congratulations," you know, telling him, and he was like, "Yeah, man, uh, we need to have dinner or something, hang out." And then he hangs up, but he's pulling up. And at the beginning of the movie, Bruce Wayne was Ben Affleck. In the other time period, Bruce Wayne was Michael Keaton. When this Bruce Wayne pulls up, it's George Clooney. Okay. That was the big twist. <laughs> I was like, this movie sucks. 
And then the 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 you know the the big ending after the credits and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that was just him interacting with Aquaman. Aquaman is dead drunk and they just like talking. He's like, I can't get drunk because I burn way too many calories. It just does not stick. And he's like, well, give me another beer. And he's telling them like, well, I'm telling you, it's something weird because I went to three different time periods and there was three different Bruce Wayne's. And like, that's just pretty much how it ended. Okay. The movie was terrible. I give that movie two thumbs down and I wish I had more thumbs. <laughs> so, that movie sucks. Yeah. DC just can't get it right. Hopefully with James Gunn, yeah. they can do something. I'm excited about the Blue Beetle. Why? <clears throat> I like the Blue Beetle. Like what the is cartoon that? was cool. The Blue Beetle is like the Spider-Man of DC. And he's a beetle? Yes. An alien. Like a them beetles that be on their back on the on your doorstep, he wanted those like that. But it like, niggas can't do nothing. Nah, this is what it's an alien thing, and it gets on his back, and now he can make any weapon just by his imagination. It can make it. So he's a, 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 a what's the Terminator like Two Iron thing? Iron Man, Spider Man type ordeal. He's the Terminator he's Two guy. He's like a teenager kid. Uh. And he's funny. I like Shazam. Like they did right with Shazam. Yeah, I heard but DC, Shazam was good. DC just sucks. I ain't see Shazam too, but like I didn't like the Wonder Woman two. Wonder Woman one was okay, but uh, Shazam one to me was my favorite one. Aquaman was cool, uh, but yeah, DC just can't get it right. I tried to do Wonder Woman and nineteen eighty four three times. Wonder Woman 1984 was absolutely terrible. Uh, the Zack Snyder cut was terrible of Justice League. That was hyped and that was ass. Yeah, uh, I tried to watch that too. Yeah, I mean, just DC is gonna forever lose unless James unless they Gunn, do the villain thing. Unless James Gunn just come up, with he it. and he should just do villains, or he yeah. should they like, should do another Joker and all that other stuff too. But I just spoiled the shit out of this movie for y'all, so y'all don't even have to watch it because <laughs> nobody deserves to watch that movie. Like it, this, how trash that movie was. The lead guy that played the Flash, he couldn't even do no press for the movie because he been out here doing hate crimes. Yeah, like what kind of superhero does that? This ain't doing hate crimes, and he's portraying a superhero. Yeah, he got some serious allegations. That's huh? what I'm saying. Like, And they still gave this dude a motion picture? They couldn't trash that movie. It's too much money. But that movie is terrible. Like, I wouldn't waste my time or yours. Hopefully, you just see this and be like, I'll never have to watch that movie because KC just, just got us right. Because I, if I could have sped up out that hole, I would have. I seen Transformers. That was all right. Yeah. And then also when I watched The Flash, uh, it was a girl sitting in my seat. Mind you, like the whole row is kind of open, but she was like right in front of the, the, the thing, and I didn't like the angle. She was sitting with her boyfriend, and I was like, man, I don't want to be the – I was trying to thug it out, but I kind of need my seat because I'm kind of far off on the left, and I want to be right in front of it. And she she wasn't even like a jerk about it. She went and sat on the other side. It was literally, I'm here, he's in the middle, and she was on the other side. And then it was like nobody to my left. And then it was probably like two other people down there to the right. But we just sat there and watched the movie. And then we ended up all just talking about how trash this movie was. <laughs> so the flash did bring us together because, you know, I that would have been an awkward situation, but we was just literally talking like, yo, this movie's ass. And oh, while wow, the movie was going? Yeah. And then, <laughs> like, when we waited for the end, they was like, is it one of those special endings? And I Googled it, and I was like, yeah. And so we waited, and she was like, oh, my gosh, I can't just – this movie sucked so bad. And I was like, yeah, it was terrible. Like, we just talked. Mm -hmm. I, they probably went and told their friends, like, this black guy was so pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> But that's all I got for the Flash. Like, don't ever watch that movie. Like, it's not worth it at all. Damn. Well, I give that movie zero out of five stars. <laughs>